End of course test. Listening to. Hi everyone, my name's Sophie Bradshaw, and well, as you know, I've been asked here today to talk to you about my life as a dancer. So I'll tell you a bit about my background and what I'm doing these days. I took up dancing because all the sport I was doing was taking up far too much time, and not really giving me much of a physical challenge. Anyway, I decided to try my luck and apply to the youth ballet school. It's notoriously hard to get into, and I knew I'd be up against some tough competition. Even dancers who are at the top of their game often have to make several attempts to get onto the course. This is because the school wants to be sure that their students will be fit to cope with all that's asked of them. Anyway, I sent in my application and waited to hear if I'd be called for an audition, and I was stunned when I was. I remember the audition day well. There were so many dancers there. I wondered how they'd possibly get through us all, and the stage itself was so massive that the judges seemed lost sitting out there in the theatre. Looking back, it wasn't too bad, I suppose, because I'd practiced so much that I knew I could pull it off. Then the waiting game started again, waiting to hear if I'd got a place. I mean, I was starting to get worried. Because they'd said we'd know within a week, and I still hadn't heard a word ten days later. I called them, and found out that there'd been a delay with sending out the letters. So um, I just had to accept that. When the letter finally arrived, and I found out that I'd got in, I was over the moon, but a bit concerned that I still didn't know which part I'd be dancing. There wasn't much in the way of feedback on my performance either, so a few weeks later, I started training at the school, and I've been there for nearly a year now. There's a lot to learn, and we have different kinds of classes every day, and obviously we rehearse during the day too. You'd think we'd be exhausted with all that going on, but actually we seem to get the energy from somewhere. The good thing is that all the hours we put in on stage really make a huge difference to the quality of our dancing. It's sure true that practice does make perfect. I still have a long way to go, but in terms of the future, I hope I'll get better and better, and maybe one day even get to the top of this profession. My dream is to be able to do this as a job and get by that way, but. If I have to, I'll look at other professions too. Anyway, on a positive note, I'd recommend dancing as a career to anyone. I won't deny that it's hard work, but it's worth every ache and pain. Now, do you have any questions?